So here we have an elongated outline. Uh, these tend to be easier to annotate because the vessel is oriented in the observation plane. Um, so they're, they're basically horizontal vessels instead of vertical vessels that cut through the layers of tissue, which are, which are a bit trickier. So here we can see there's a, a target vessel that follows the shape of the outline. And we just want to see if these little dark spots are actually moving through the vessel or stuck in, in those locations when we move the slider. So it looks like they're clearly moving through the vessel and we don't see any dark spots. If we saw even one single dark spot that was stuck, we would call that a stall. But since all the dark spots that we see are moving, then this is considered flowing. Uh, this looks like another one of those nice high contrast movies, um, which are always, I think, a lot easier to interpret than some of the grainier ones. So in this case, um, the question is, where is the vessel that we're targeting here? Which one are we supposed to be looking at? Um, so here's one vessel, but this kind of crosses through the green outline. So that's not the one we're interested in. Um, but if we move the slider some more, then we see um, what appears to be a continuous vessel um, that follows the shape of the outline except that this particular vessel has an interesting feature which is this dark area here that never fills in all the way. Um, and so that's, um, that's considered a stall because throughout the entire image as we move the slider back and forth um, that never gets filled in by the white vessel fluid. So something is blocking the white fluid from moving through. That's going to be a blood cell that's stuck in the vessel. So we'll click Stalled and click right on the spot where we think there's a stall. And it looks like that's a correct answer. Um, the experts annotated another stall down here. So when, when you give an answer um, and then see that the experts have decided that the vessel is stalled, Often, there will be just one point that's annotated as stalled, just to, to, just to show you that the vessel is indeed stalled. Um, the experts don't mark all the points at which it's stalled. Um, it's still considered correct if you say it's stalled, even if you clicked on a different spot than the spot where the experts clicked. So this image uh, has a very high contrast and some graininess as well. Um, it's pretty clear which vessel we're looking at here. It uh, very clearly follows the shape of the green outline. Um, and there's also um, a very distinctive uh, stall right here where there's this uh, dark gap. Um, and uh, you might even see a few small connected gaps. And then there's a, a smaller gap up here. And so as we scroll back and forth, um, those spaces never fill in with um, the fluorescent uh, fluid of the vessel. They remain dark because there are blood vessel or there are blood cells that are actually stuck in those spots. So this is um, a pretty clearly stalled vessel, and we'll go ahead and call that a stall. And um, you can see. Uh, right there is the red dot that the experts annotated. So they identified that stall, um, but it looks like there's also a stall down here. Okay, so here we have um, a movie with some graininess and some motion artifacts uh, due to natural movement because these are uh, live images. Um, of a mouse brain and we do post-processing on these images to remove the motion artifacts. Um, in this case, um, the motion from the breathing or the heart beating of the animal has not been removed from the movie, but we'll ignore that and we'll pay attention just to the vessel inside the green outline. And so um, here we can see there is, uh, as we scroll back and forth, um, in this vessel, it looks like there is motion 
and there are no black spots that appear to be stuck. So this is considered flowing. Okay, so the green outline is over here on the, the bottom right. And um, as we look more closely at this vessel, um, we can see uh, some motion in the vessel. And um, right about here, there's a, a black spot, but it's not really stuck. You can sort of see it uh, passing through the vessel. And so um, we don't see any stalls here, so we'll call this flowing. And that's correct. So this is a nice elongated outline, uh, which tends to mean that the vessel is oriented horizontally. Um, so um, when this happens, we typically see the entire vessel all at once, which makes it easier to annotate. Uh, yep, and there's the vessel. Um, so now uh, we are trying to find a stall. That would be a dark spot that isn't moving in the vessel. And of course, if we, if we stop scrolling back and forth, we can create the appearance of a stall. So that looks like a stall and that looks like a stall. But those are just red blood cells that aren't moving because we're not moving the slider. So that does not count as a stall. For it to be a stall, those black spots have to stay there even when you're moving the slider. So in this case, the black spots are moving through the vessel, and so we call this flowing. Um, interestingly, if you look at this adjacent vessel here, there are some black spots, this one and this one, and possibly here. So as we move the slider back and forth, those black spots actually look like they're stuck. So even though we're annotating this vessel, which is flowing, it's interesting to notice that this other vessel right next door here actually appears to be stalled. And this is a nice example of what a stall might look like in a very grainy movie. So we'll answer flowing because, again, it's the vessel in this outline that we're answering. So this is a fairly grainy image. Um, and we have a green outline near the center of the virtual microscope view. Uh, it's pretty clear which vessel we're annotating here. There's really only one vessel that follows the shape of the outline and that's visible inside the outline. Um, again, every vessel that's being annotated begins and ends at an intersection with another vessel. So um, that can be useful to know. So here we see um, one vessel that's uh, joining with the target vessel. Then uh, as we move our slider the other direction, we can see the vessel at the other end that's being joined. And then our target vessel is this one right in the middle. So uh, strikingly, there is a dark gap here. And so the question is, is this gap um, representative of a stall? If it's a stall, then that gap will stay in the same spot throughout the movie. If it's a flowing vessel, we'll see that gap move one way or the other through the vessel. So let's go ahead and try. And it looks like, regardless of which way we move the slider, that that spot remains. So this looks like a stall. Um, we'll go ahead and mark it as a stall. So in this movie, the green outline is near the top of the virtual microscope view. Uh, in fact, a piece of the green outline is missing, uh, it goes out of view, and that's because um, we're not imaging an entire brain, we're imaging a part of the brain, and sometimes vessels um, that we're annotating actually go outside of that view area. And that's what's happened here. It, it goes slightly outside of that area. When that happens, we just do the best we can. We still need to annotate the vessel. But that's why you will sometimes see a green outline that goes outside of the, the view area. Um, and uh, it's very difficult to see this green outline because of the bright vessels behind it, but we'll go ahead and we'll use our slider um, as those vessels go out of view. It's much easier to see the green outline and the vessel we're annotating is also um, 
very visible and the motion inside the vessel you can see the little black spots which are the red blood cells uh, flowing flowing through that vessel um, so for example here's a black spot here's a black spot here's a black spot part of the vessel you can't even see because it's going outside of the virtual microscope view but these black spots are not stalled because when we move the slider those black spots are moving if they didn't move when we move the slider that would signify a stall but in this case they're very clearly flowing there's really good blood flow um, it's a healthy vessel so we'll mark it flowing so here we have a very dark background it looks like a high contrast movie but with some graininess to it um, the outline is elongated it's easy to see and we'll go ahead and move the slider and see what the vessel looks like um, so here you can kind of see the outline of the vessel or I'm sorry you can see the vessel itself uh, within the green outline and it's following the shape of the green outline uh, but it looks like there's a pretty significant disruption here so the question is is that just because part of the vessel is out of view because of the particular layer we're looking at or is that an actual stall and the only way to tell is to move the slider back and forth and see if this area gets filled in or not. So we'll go ahead and we'll move the slider back and forth and no matter where we move it that is not connecting. So that looks like a very distinctive stall area of the vessel. So we'll click on stalled. We'll click on the part of the vessel that appears to be stalled and sure enough um, that's almost the exact spot where the experts already placed a red dot to show us that yes this is stalled and that's where the stall is located. This is a bit of an unusual vessel in that you can see a number of intersections uh, spots where different vessels come together all within the green outline. That's atypical. Um, typically it's just a single vessel that we're looking for that follows the shape of the outline. Um, here you can see there's one spot that doesn't move um, as we look through the layers of the vessel. So uh, as we scroll back and forth, that spot remains constant. So we'll call that a stall. Um, and uh, that was correct.